Hey guys and gals from fellow riders, we are glad to have you here with us at Sweet Scoots. Today we're going to be doing some detailing, scratch removal, and preventing of it with some ceramic coating. Now is the time to do that. Now is the time to get it done. Before the warm weather comes, then you won't want to do it. So, Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are located. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez Bill. That's what he wants. I've got my little cart here with all my stuff that I need. I got other tools on the cart for the old Blue Bomber. We're changing the name of it to Blue Bummer. If you're not watching that series on Sweet Project Cars, you should. Make sure you turn your notifications bell on so you don't miss any of these videos. A lot of people don't know they have to have that on on top of 16 other buttons you got to push in order to get the videos when they come to you. But I've got some bad scratches on this saddlebag and I have one on the tank right there. And all this stuff right here, that's all pollen. You can see the pollen across that fender right there. That's all pollen. It's coming out big time here. So this scratch is a little bit deeper and you can hear it with your fingernail. So we're going to be doing a special video on that. If you want to know how to fill deeper scratches and make them disappear, we're going to do that. But this one is from some lazy A that uh, couldn't lift their foot up high enough to get on the bike. We're going to make these disappear. Now, you can take and cover your bike up so you don't get uh, mothers all over it. Like down in the hard areas, put a rag down there or something. But we're going to take it easy. I'm going to do the whole top of the bag. And then I'm going to do around here by hand. And then ceramic coat it. The perfect t-shirt weather today. Perfect. Get out in your garage, work on your bike. And for those of you that are dealing with pollen that I showed you on there, or allergies, we did a video on Mr. Know-It-All. Go look for it. Just type in uh, allergy or pollen or dust or look on Mr. Know-It-All. It's the last video we did and you'll love it. I wouldn't be here right now because my allergies are pretty bad if it wasn't for that video. All right, so we're going to use the best little buffer there is out there. Make this look better. And I'm trying to do it evenly across there. I'll do the whole bag that way because you're actually removing some of the clear coat. And most clear coat is only about four mils thick. Not very thick. And this uh, buffer is variable speed. There's a big scratch right up here. We're gonna see if that'll take out.
And another tip I'll give you. This is a custom paint job on this bike. Uh, I don't know what the color is. It could be a Harley color for all I know. But I've got a really good friend in a body shop who can check the color on this bike and tell me the exact paint code that I need for it for touch-up paints and this, that, and the other thing. So we'll be doing that, and I'll take you on the trip when we do it. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is it looks bad, but the other thing, when the sun shined down here, when the sun would hit that, it would stick out like a sore thumb. And the ceramic coating I'm going to be using will keep that from happening again. It'll get scratched, but you'll be able to buff that right out in two seconds by hand. But the chances of scratching it that bad with the ceramic coating, it's going to take a lot to scratch it because that stuff is like liquid glass. And that's basically what it is, is liquid glass. And you're seeing this real time. So when I'm done, even if my battery goes dead, I'm not going to do any more until you see it real time. And it'll take, take probably, if the camera wasn't here and I was doing all this stuff, probably take 20 minutes to get all those scratches out. We can speed it up too. And if your wax ever dries up on you when you're getting near the end, just mist a tiny bit of water on it. See, where a lot of people make mistakes is they'll stay right on the scratches. And you don't want to do that. You want to do the whole area, at least if you're doing a hood of a car, you would do a two foot by two foot area or a four foot by four foot area to make sure you're staying blended. Because, like I said, you're removing clear coat when you do this. And you do not want anything to stand out or be different type thing, you know. Yes, you focus on your scratches for a while and then move around. Body shop would probably charge you 250 bucks to do this. Somewhere in there. Just this area with a few tools that you need anyhow like this rig and the buffing pads and all the stuff in the tools list and a couple cans of mothers you can do pretty much any scratch on your vehicle on your bike or car or truck all right let's take a look at it All right, you can see the scratches are gone. What about that one up there? That scratch up there is actually missing some paint. Very little amount of color should go in there. But these scratches are pretty much all gone. A little bit more, we'll have them hasta lasagna. And it's not full of a whole bunch of swirl marks or none of that. People do not believe how powerful Mothers is. We've stuck with Mothers 
after we found out what it does on painted surfaces, on anything clear coated, it's just an amazing, amazing product. Pretty much everything they sell is amazing. And we're not being paid to share that with you guys. It's just, it, we found it and you talk about doing headlights that are fogged up with mothers. It's a, just, it's a crazy product. And you can use it on everything. That's the thing. You don't need 47,000 different products. A couple big cans of mothers and your buffing machine and stuff, you're good to go. You can do your metal, your chrome, your aluminum. And the nice thing about it is it does not remove too much material at a time, even when you're using a machine. Well, that looks pretty darn good. I am going to now change up pads to a compound fluffy. Now, theoretically, we could have wet sanded this with 5,000 grit, would have cut the time down, but I know a lot of you are not real handy with that, and it's real easy to take too much clear coat off. I would rather have you do it the way I'm doing it right here, and uh, there's no chance really for any error. Now we're going to go to the polishing rig. And people can tell you which direction to go, to go in a circle, to go back and forth, overlap. When you're doing something this small, just keep moving it. Do not stay in one spot. That is done. Those scratches are all gone. Finish it with mothers by hand. Do the final coat on it. Nice, beautiful, clean microfiber. And the scratches are all gone, just as we planned. And it looks beautiful. Let's get to ceramicing. When we ceramic coat, we do little sections at a time. The humidity level is pretty high today. It'll take a little longer for this to set, but all in all, it'll work. First things we're going to do is clean it with Old 99. You can't use anything other than Old 99. People will say, well, can I use 70%? Can I use this? Can I use that? No. This will remove any possible amounts of wax or anything that's on this saddlebag. And I'll do one saddlebag a weekend, then I'll do the tank one weekend, then I'll do the fairing one weekend, and I'll do the fenders one weekend. We've used the same ceramic coating since we started this channel, and it works like a charm. I put a whole line. Both directions. First we'll go this way. Then we'll go this way. Doesn't that look beautiful? We'll get all the way around the bag. 
Then there may be a point in time where you have to actually take the cloth off the foam. Like now, to get back in there. That baby's done. We'll let for it to dry for a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes. And uh, if I had some sunshine here today, which I don't because it's one of them weird rainy days in Florida, uh, I'd set it out in the sun after that. But that is gorgeous. Take a look at this. We're still waiting for the uh, ceramic coating to dry, but it's magic. Which kind of magic are we using? Good old elbow grease, about five gallon bucket of it but it's just gorgeous i can't wait to buff it off and really make it shine if you think that shines but look at those scratches they're all gone that's how you do it guys it's not that hard don't be afraid to do it just get at it follow this video share it with other people other bike riders and you'll be able to make this happen i mean you look at that bag right there and then go over to this one not good dull nasty shining and it's deep it's a deep shine even with the garage door reflecting in it and you test it you touch it with your finger if your finger comes up wet it's not time to buff that's how you do it if you can see it on your fingertip just touch a small area like right here we'll do it not time all right we're ready Best to do this on a, in a warm garage, 65 degrees and warmer, and low humidity. Keep it out of the rain for at least 24 hours. And man, you talk about slippery. This thing is like glass. And the scratches are all gone. I feel a million times better than driving around in a pile. That old bag, give me that bread, you old bag. That old bag is done. Looks like a brand new bag. Papa's got a brand new bag. All right, I'm gonna do it from the back side here. Look at that. You can make your whole bike look like this and it'll clean easier, it'll wash up cleaner. It, it will just continue to shine for years with this stuff. No scratches to worry about. 